in this video we are going to take a look at how we can add a read more button using the expand block from the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. So first let's go ahead and take a quick look of how this expand block will look like. So using this expand block we will be able to create content sections like this one where we have a simple text and in the middle we can have a read more link and when we click on this read more button the content area will expand to reveal the rest of the content and we can also play around with the design of this read more button like this one here we only have a down arrow icon so if you click here it's again going to reveal the rest of the content in the block or we can just use any gutenberg block to create some amazing looking content like this one here if you click on this show more faq which is a read more button we can see we now have a complete faq list and even we can make some creative sections where we can show various features something like this one and to reveal more features we can just use the read more link and the rest of the section will get revealed with an additional call to action button so if all that sounds interesting and you also want to add some creative read more link to your content then let's dive in my name is ankit sharma from the team posi myth and if you want to deep dive in the world of wordpress using gutenberg then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video So here we are in our WordPress backend and here in the plugin section we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version. And once we have installed the plugins we can now go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we just need to search for expand and this is the expand block that we need to use and as you can see it's part of the pro plan of this plugin so make sure you have the pro version installed and activated. And then we just need to turn on this block and then click on save. Now for this example, let's say we have a team page where we want to show various members of our team. And right now we just have a simple layout where we have an image on the left and some content or a short bio on the right hand side. So let's recreate this page using our expand block and see how we can use the read more link. So let's open this page in a new tab for editing. All right, let's scroll down. And for this title, let's first give it some spacing. So maybe we can add 30 pixel from top and 30 from bottom. And after this, let's go ahead and add a container block that is TP container. And now we need to choose a layout. So we will choose this one so that all the elements will be aligned in one single line. And let's start by adding our image. So we will choose TP image block. Let's add our image here. Let's select this one. All right. Now, after this, we will choose these three dots and then click on insert after. And now we will add our expand block. So this is the one TP expand. And here by default, we have some sample text and we also have our read more button. And on the right hand side, we have all the settings that we need to customize this block. But before that, let me just go ahead and choose the container first. And let's go to advance and let's add some margin from top and bottom. And for the TP expand block. Let's go to advance first. And in spacing, we will add some margin from right, bottom and left. So let's close this box. And now if you click on this block here in the layout section, the first option we see is the content. So here we have the heading. So right now it's just a simple text. If we are creating a team page, we can just go ahead and write down the name of the team member. And below that, we have an option for content source. So here, right now, we have the text content. So with this option, we get this content area just below this. And here we can just type in all our content. So that will be visible as it is right here. Instead of that, we can go ahead and choose editor. 
so that we can now have a full Gutenberg editor here. So we can play around with any Gutenberg block to create our content. Or we can come back here in content source and we can use a reusable block as well. So if you have already created a reusable block and you want to show it here inside the expand block content area, you can use that from here. So once we select the reusable block, here is the list of all the reusable blocks that we have already created. So you can select any one of these blocks and that will be visible in the content area of this expand block. But right now, let's come back to text editor. And here we have a sample content. So I will leave it as it is. And below this, we have the title tag. So here we can choose the HTML tag for our title. So let's say we choose H3. And for the buttons, here we have the expand button text, which is read more right now. Or maybe we can write no more. And below this, we have expand button icon. So here we can choose what type of icon we want for this button. So you can play around with this, but we will leave it as it is. After that, we have collapse button text. So once we click on read more or no more in this case, once we have all the content showing here, we now see a read less text. We can customize that from this option. So maybe we can simply write close. So this is how it's going to look. Once again, we can choose the collapse button icon. After this, we have an interesting option that is extra button. So right now, if we turn this on, we don't see any changes here. But if we click on no more, now the button is visible, which says watch video. And the text is customizable from here. So right now it says watch video. We can maybe write down watch video intro. So maybe for this particular team member, we have a intro video, so we can link that here. And here's an option to add our link. And once again, we can choose the extra button icon here. So if we select this, maybe we can choose this icon. So this one looks much better. And after this, we have extra option. So here we have expand direction, which is right now above. So you can choose above or below depending upon your design requirements. After this, we have max height. Right now it is set on 100. So you can change that as per your design. After this, we have custom opacity. Right now, if we close this box, here we can see we have some opacity over this text. And if we turn this on, we can see now we can customize this opacity height. So this is how it's going to look. So you can decide how much text you want to reveal under this expand block. And after this, we have an option for opacity color. So we can also customize the color which we want to show for this opacity option. Something like this. So now we can easily adjust the opacity height. And you can play around with any color depending upon your website theme. After that, we have transition duration. So right now it is set on 200. And below this, we have toggle alignment. So we can play around with the position of this no more or read more link. So for this one, we will keep it on the extreme right. And after this, we can go to style. And here we can play around with the styling element of this block. So for the title, we have margin that we can set or maybe we can change the alignment of the title. So we'll keep it on left. And for the typography, let's go ahead and change this to Poppins. And maybe we can change the weight to 600. And below this, we can play around with the color for the title. And same goes for the description as well. And after this, we have the toggle button. So here we can play around with the settings or styling of this button. And under this, we have an option to change the icon position. So here we can set it before or after the text. And below this, we can play around with the text color as well as the background color here. And after this, we have the toggle icon size. So once again, we will leave it on default. And here we can play around with the offset of this button. So we can change that from here. And below this, we have extra button. So here are the styling option for the extra button that we have just added here. So let's click on no more. Here is the watch video intro. That is our extra button. And we can change all the styling of this button from here. For example, for the background, 
maybe we can change the color to little bit of blue shade so that it can go with the theme so once again we have option to customize that as well and now once that is done we can now go ahead and duplicate this container let's select the container and maybe we can remove all these three blocks at the bottom and now we just need to duplicate our container so let's select this one and let's do it one more time and now we can just go ahead and change the image as well as our text all right so now let's go ahead and update this page and see how it looks in the front end so this is how the old team content area looks like let's refresh it and this is how the new one looks so here we can click on no more and we can read rest of the content and we also have an extra call to action button With that this read more link or this expand blog could be a great addition on your blog pages as well where you can first show a glimpse of your content and then let the user click on the no more button so that the rest of the content will be revealed let me show you how that's going to look so right now this is how our normal blog post looks like for this website we have a big banner on the top we have a title here and rest of the content goes on the right hand side now let's see how we can use the expand blog to add a read more button here let's edit this post let's open that in a new tab and here we have the normal gutenberg editor and let's say we copy the content here to add little more text and after this we are going to add our expand block so now we have the expand block added here and here in the content source instead of normal text we are going to use our editor and now we are back here with our normal gutenberg editor and we can just continue creating our blog post as normal so let's say we copy all the content from here let's say we copy this block and paste it inside this expand block and after this let's copy the content so let me just click on insert after and let's just paste this content here and now we can get rid of all the content below this expand block and inside extra options let's change the alignment to center all right so let's update this page and let's refresh our blog post here so here we have our blog post content and at the very bottom we have the read more link and if we click on this it's going to reveal rest of the content and once again we can just click on read less to close this box so this is how we can use read more button on various pages and blog posts of our WordPress website. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.